Good morning, happy Monday, and welcome to week five of my study abroad adventure here in Scotland. I am starting off my week with my lecture class as usual, and hopefully there'll be something interesting to show you. If not, I'll see you after. After our lecture class, I headed up to the weave workshop to work on a yarn wrapping homework assignment. Basically, I just browsed the workshop's yarn collection and picked out yarns that I thought could work well for my weaving project. And then I started making some simple yarn wrappings. Hello again, I just got back from taking a whole bunch of yarn from the weaving workshop and I'm pretty much just gonna go head to my dorm and work on things. I was thinking about working in the actual weaving workshop, but like the weather is so gloomy. It's such like a blah day. I kind of just want to like go to my dorm, make some tea, cozy up and do some yarn wrapping. So let's go do that. Oh, also I have my pumpkins up because I'm very excited for the spooky season approaching and I'm even more excited because I just finished my Halloween shawl, which I washed and blocked last night. I washed my shawl using some wool wash that was really kindly gifted to me by Fly Dyed, who I met at the Scottish Yarn Festival. And then I tried my best to lay this out on my table. This was like really the only space in my apartment that I could make this work. And it just like didn't fit right because of the shape, but I got it on there. It's dry now and I'm very excited about it. Here's how it looks on the sweater that I'm wearing right now. And I love it. I think it's just an absolutely ridiculous over the top Halloween accessory, which is exactly what I wanted. And I also just made some plans for Halloween itself, which I am so excited about, which it's a couple weeks from now. So you'll have to wait to see how all of that goes. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the yarn wrapping. Just kidding. I accidentally took a nap, so. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get myself to do at least one yarn wrapping tonight. So let's do that. So a yarn wrapping is essentially just like a sketch with yarn that's supposed to either emulate the warp that you'd be weaving with or the weft pattern that you'd be weaving with. So these are the three that I made so far that are supposed to just be like emblematic of this whole situation. <laughs> and I do like how they're turning out. So I think I'm just gonna keep going and keep playing and seeing what I can come up with. admit making these yarn wrappings is definitely not my favorite thing in the world. I find them extremely time consuming and tedious and I don't know if they actually help me with my personal design process at all. My brain just doesn't really work like this. But I needed some yarn wrappings for my sketchbook so I gave it my best shot. Good morning, happy Tuesday. It is such a beautiful day today. It's kind of that like, will it rain, won't it rain kind of moment. And it's just sunny, kind of cloudy, kind of moody at the same time. Some of the leaves are turning orange. I'm just so happy. <laughs> I'm on my way to the library to do some work before my class today. And I'm actually really excited for after class because I have like a remote date with Ryan because today is actually our anniversary. Today is October 10th, so 1010, and it's our seven year anniversary. And we both have this thing where we really like to do like wine and cheese nights together. So we're going to do like a remote FaceTime wine and cheese after my classes. And I'm really looking forward to that. So let's get through all the work I need to do and my classes and it might actually start raining. And yeah, I'll show you anything interesting that happens. My first task was to print out a whole bunch of stuff to add to my sketchbook. Last week, I decided that the theme for my semester's project would involve a whimsical interpretation of Scottish architecture. So I collected a bunch of photographs that I've taken on my travels through Scotland, and I printed them out. I also printed out the jacquard design that I started last week, which is inspired by the local bridges and viaducts. 
then I cut everything out and I put it all together in my sketchbook. Again, I'm back in my dorm after class and I was just getting all set up for my little date night and I have a package that I wanted to show you that I want to open from Ryan. I actually already know what's in this box just because he ordered it from my Amazon UK account so it could actually get to me. And while I was on a phone call with him actually the other day, I got an email that was like, your package is being delivered. And I actually saw what was in the package and like totally started crying because it's just so cute. So let's open it. <laughs> It's a little tabletop bowling game. <laughs> Our anniversary tradition every single year is that we always go bowling together. And this year we couldn't be together. So we got me a little tabletop bowling, which is just so cute. My little charcuterie spread featured some local Scottish Parma ham and cheeses, some dates from Serbia and a Scottish cider. And of course the charcuterie spread would not be complete without a lactate because I am very lactose intolerant. And of course, we were joined by our lovely cat, Frankie, who kept score for us. Ready, cat. <laughs> cat, get the rest. Knock down one more, I need the strike. Go, go. Go on, cat, yay, strike, I did it. Yay, cat, yay. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Today's my day off and normally I would make this my little like adventure day and go out and about, but I actually have a really big adventure planned for next week. So I have to actually get things done today. So <laughs> I have to edit, I have to do some school stuff. I have to study some things for a quiz that we have tomorrow. It's just a whole lot of boring stuff. So if anything interesting happens, I'll be sure to show you. And if nothing interesting happens, I'll just see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, nothing interesting happened, so it's tomorrow. Happy Thursday. I'm heading over to my morning class and that's the one where we've been like showing our sketchbooks to our professor and group critique and just kind of like getting general feedback on the work that we've been doing the past week. So I have my sketchbook and I'm ready to do this. I hope my professor likes my little yarn wrappings. Also the leaves are slowly starting to turn orange in the area and I'm just so excited because I'm so eager to see how everything here looks in the fall because it's already so pretty when it's green. I really want to see how it transforms and changes with the season. So that's bringing me a lot of joy and I can't wait to just like keep watching. So yeah, let's head to class. After our critique, I worked with my professor one-on-one -on -one to start designing my warp for my weaving project, which was really exciting. Then we had a lecture on designing double cloth fabrics. Good morning, happy Friday. Today's normally my day off, but we actually have like a really special little workshop going on today that's all about dyeing and how to dye yarns, specifically on campus in the print studio. So it's gonna be kind of like, orientation slash dyeing techniques and hopefully there'll be something interesting to show you from it. I just finished up with our little introduction to dyeing and I'm really excited. I think I definitely want to make dyeing, hand dyeing, warp and weft, warp painting, things like that a really big part of this project because those are things that I don't really have a whole lot of experience in. You may have seen in some of my other videos, especially my like San Diego vlogs, that I have dyed a little bit but not to this level in these like multi-harness looms so I really want to take full advantage of this opportunity to explore and just go for it. 
Hello again, it's the next day. It's my day off slash work day. So I've just been like doing dorm stuff, doing YouTube stuff, doing school stuff, and also working on my knitting as kind of a form of like rest slash procrastination. So I figured I'd show you how my project is going. This is the project I've been working on since I got this yarn at the yarn festival several weeks ago. And the pattern is called the Caledonian Fling by Susan Ashcroft. I'll put a picture of that here. I'm really loving this pattern so far because it's kind of a combination of like mindless knitting. And now I'm at this like mosaic knitting border, which is a little more mindful and thoughtful and counting. And I like that balance. This border is gonna have really cute little thistle motifs, which thistles are Scotland's national flower. So I picked this pattern as kind of like a souvenir to have for my trip here with like this little Scottish emblem on the bottom with yarn that I got at the Scottish Yarn Festival. But it's been kind of like irking me that the yarn I got is from Ireland and this is supposed to be like a very Scottish themed project. So I've been trying to think like, okay, what can I do to make me feel better about this whole thing? And then I thought, okay, it's Irish wool. Ireland's not that far away. So let's go to Ireland. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know that that was the literal cheesiest transition ever, but I am actually in Ireland and I'm not just here to work on this. I'm actually here to meet Ryan and we're gonna go on a whole week of Ireland adventures that I'm so excited about. I did also make pretty good progress on my shawl. I pretty much finished the whole color work section of the border and now I just have a little bit more to go before it's done and hopefully I can actually enjoy this on this trip. So yeah, Ryan's plane lands pretty much any minute now and he's gonna meet me here and then we're off on a week of exploring and adventuring and I'm gonna take you along for some of that. We started our journey in Dublin, Ireland. Ryan and I both love visiting places where you can spend a few days just wandering around on foot, leisurely taking in the sights, and taking breaks for some really, really good food. And Dublin was the perfect place for exactly that. We then hopped on a bus tour, which took us to several destinations in Northern Ireland, including Belfast, which is where the Titanic was built. And they had a gorgeous museum about the entire Titanic experience. we visited the Dunluce Castle, which was a beautiful medieval ruin along the coast that was actually featured in Game of Thrones. And then we visited the Giant's Causeway, which is a stunning natural wonder. This site was created between 50 to 60 million years ago from volcanic activity, which formed these really bizarre, perfectly hexagonal columns along this specific part of the coast. And it was really, really fun to wander around. Returning to Ireland, we hopped on a train to the other side of the country to visit the Galway Bay, which is home to the Aran Islands. We booked an all-day experience that took us all around the local area. So first we boarded a ferry to Inishir, the smallest of the Aran Islands. We then hopped on a tractor tour of Inishir, which has to be one of the most isolated and fascinating places I've ever been to in my whole life. I can't really explain it, and I'm sure the clips aren't doing it justice, but there was just something about this extremely remote, beautiful place lined with miles and miles of stone walls that just felt so otherworldly. And it was also so quiet. It was almost spooky, but really, really stunning. Aran Islands 
Jones are also famous for Aaron sweaters, and if you know me, you know that I had to snag a few. These sweaters were traditionally knit by the spouses of fishermen who worked on the islands, and the unique style of mixing stitch designs has since become globally iconic. I got one in the traditional undyed style. Nice, perfect. And I also got a zip front turquoise one. And pose with it. Then we hopped back on the ferry to visit the Cliffs of Mower, also known from the Princess Bride as the Cliffs of Insanity. With Wesley and Buttercup and hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. I have to die. Good morning, happy Sunday. I have been up since about four in the morning today. It's like almost 10 a.m. now. It's been a very long morning just like traveling back from Dublin. I'm in Edinburgh now waiting for the train to my campus to Galashiels, so I'm exhausted. I have my first pumpkin spice latte of the season. I will say it's making things a little bit better. <laughs> so I should probably end the vlog here. This was definitely a very exciting one for me and I hope you had a lot of fun tagging along. Ireland is just so beautiful and I'm really glad that I got the chance to actually explore it and to also see it with Ryan because I've been missing him so much and it was so nice to have like a little reunion and then also go on a small adventure together. Well, I guess not so small. We actually did quite a lot. And I got some sweaters that I'm like really, really excited about that you're definitely gonna see in my upcoming vlogs because I'm gonna wear the absolute crap out of those. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me. And if you wanna see some more of my Scotland adventures, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, bye.